This video is about diastomatomyelia. Diastomatomyelia belongs to the spectrum of split notochord syndromes. The pathogenesis is an incomplete separation of the embryonic actor and endoderm so that two separate quarter cords lateral of the adhesion are formed. This leads to the formation of two separate spinal hemichord as well as vertebral anomalies like block or butterfly vertebra. The migration of embryonic mesenchyme in the adhesion results in the development of a fibrous cartilaginous or bony septum. The location is mostly in the region of the deep thoracal or lumbar spinal cord. There are two different types of diastomatomyelia. The first type consists out of a cartilaginous or bony spur with two separate dural tubes. This type is an almost 100% associated with a tethered cord, which means that the spinal conus lies below the second lumbar vertebra. This type has more severe symptoms than the second type, which consists out of a fibrospur and a common dural tube for both hemichords. With the second type, you find a tethered cord in about 50% of cases. In most cases, both hemichords have their own central canal and one rental and dorsal horn as well as nerve root. Mostly the hemichords unite above and below the cleft. The best imaging method is MRI, where you can identify both hemichords well, as seen in this case. Also here you see the septum, which is fibrous in this case because it's dark in the T2 and also can't be seen on the T1 image. There is one common dural tube. On surgical plane you can see a conus that is below the second lumbar vertebra, so you can speak of a tethered course in this case. And here again on the coronal view you see the split hemichords. The T1 is also the best sequence to look for associated lesions of the filum terminale, like a fibrolipoma as well as vertebral anomalies. In T2 you can best evaluate the numbers of dural tubes and the existence of possible associated syringohydromelia. The symptoms can be pain due to vertebral scoliosis. In 50% of cases, there will be cutaneous stigma cells like hyperpigmentation or hairy patches. In case of tethered cord, there can be neurological symptoms of the lower limbs and urologic dysfunction. Apart from the tethered cord, there are other anomalies like a lipoma of the filum terminale, a syringohydromyela, Chiari 2 malformation, dermal sinus, epidermoid, or spinal dysmorphism. The associated anomalies determine the spectrum of symptoms.